Hi there. In this video, I will show you a productivity tip, what to do with a cold environment of Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. When you have a development test or demo environment running on Azure, you would like to save some cost, and for that reason, you would turn off the virtual machines at the end of the business day. Next day, when you start the environment again, in that case, it's called and every form you might open the first time is slow. Now, when doing some testing or when you want to give a demo to prospects, then you would like to have a well-performing system, which is already pre-cached. So the forms will then load much quicker. The first time when you open any form, it will be quite slow. For example, if you open this form, it says first, please wait. But once it has been loaded one time, the second time it will be quicker when opening. These are just smaller forms, but when you also have to demo or work with customers or orders or the more advanced forms in the application, you have to wait longer and longer before the system will provide you all the details. And again, when you want to go from the all customers list page to the details, the first time you have to wait. Now what you can do is use the task recording to record all the processes you would like to include in a particular demo. You might find some larger demos. In that case, you have to open form by form. That would be taking a lot of time, also your time, because you have to click a certain form, have to wait for it, then go to the next one and wait again and etc. etc. Instead of manually opening all forms and wait for it, you can use the task recording. And for that, I will first go to the main menu, then start the task recorder, where you can record all the steps as part of a recording. I'll call this one warm-up script. If you have to perform a lot of tasks, you can create subtasks or even split it in multiple files. Now the recorder, option is open as you can see it on the top bar where there's a red recording icon showing the recording is active. Now you can perform all tasks which should be part of your demo. And also, if you open the customer form or maybe an order form, you can even click on new to create a new record, which is sometimes also a bit slow the first time. When you're creating the new customer, when you're looking the lookups, it would be better compared to just typing the value. Now I will save the new customer. The script will also create a new customer with exactly the same name. So after saving it, it would be good best practice to delete the record directly again. If we need to show some other related information, like the bank accounts, we can also open it and close it, close it. And now we can also stop the recording. Now before I will save it to my PC or on lifecycle services, I created and deleted a customer. If you are using the same name again and again, it will also create a global address book record, which not will not be cleaned up automatically unless you set a particular parameter. In the organization administration menu, 
you can find parameters where you can enable an option delete parties with no rules. If that's enabled, it will not only delete the customer you created, but directly also delete it party as there is no record related to that party anymore. Now for the task recorder, you can choose to save to your PC and load it from the local place when you have a cold environment, which you want to warm up, but you can also use lifecycle services. And for lifecycle services, you need to have a business process modeler where you can link the task recording. You can choose from the project libraries available in your project. And I created one BPM model, which is now for the warm up scripts. And I created one example, which I will play back as a demo within a minute. And there's now also an empty one, which does not have a diagram, which is also indicating that there's a task recording linked. So if you want to save multiple recordings, you probably first have to create multiple processes in the BPM on LCS, then you can save it. Now going back to the dashboard, I will save it to my lifecycle services. It will try to load the information from LCS. You can choose between saving it to one of the other libraries available in your project, but I will keep it with the current one and click OK. It was successful and now also when you refresh the page on the BPM on LCS, you'll see there's a diagram also linked to it, which is indicating there's a task recorder attached. We'll go back to the main menu. So in the morning or when you have created an or just started a new environment which you want to warm up, you can choose for playback recording, then open from the PC, lifecycle services or reasons, select a file. Again, you will have the choice to choose from which BPM and which record. I will now open the warm up demo, which I prepared as a demo. We'll start it. It shows you all the tasks at the right side. And now you can click on play all pending steps. And when this will play back all the options, then you have the time to read your emails or probably grab a new cup of coffee. Or if you prefer tea, you can get some tea. And when you come back, it might be the case that your environment is up and running without that you have to wait for each step manually. I hope this tip will be beneficial for you as well. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, bye bye.